Ah, uh, you know what? It just hit me. Whoa. You know how they say every guy has three hot streaks with the ladies in his life? This is your third. Whatever you say, Akihiko-senpai. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just, there's... The voices! Hot streaks? When the hell were the other two? When we were kids, you're the most popular with a girl. <laughs> I don't remember that. The second time you were in the zone was when you started dating Catherine. Uh. Although, uh, that's over if she finds out about this. <sighs> Crap, man. She's probably gonna kill me. That's what you're all scared about. Yeah, she'll do more than that. If she doesn't find out you're safe, right? Just act like it never happened. I'm not like you. I can't just ignore this. Well then, why not switch it up? That way you won't hear any more marriage talk, right? All that stuff about soulmates and eternal love is bullshit. Married life sucks, man. You really want to go through the same shit I have? I'm not like you. I don't want to sleep around. I just want life to stay the same. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Yeah, if you're gonna whine, you shouldn't have done it, dumbass. Yeah, oh, no seriously. Shit. I wish I could just live all carefree like you. Don't you realize there's nothing you can do, you schmuck? No matter how good you are to a woman, you never know if she'll stab you in the back. <sighs> well, c considering the experience I had last night, she's cute, right? Literally being stabbed with a fork multiple times. No, I don't have her type. She's not your type anyway. Come on, how do you know that? Because she's my type. <laughs> well. <laughs> Uh, that's not a good sign. So fucked. <laughs> he had such a shit eating grin there. What the hell? Who cares? Come on, if you fall and die in a dream, you'll die in real life. My friend's boyfriend almost died. Isn't that scary? Huh? How do you know? Were you able to see his dream? Hey, you all right, man? You don't look so hot. What do you think? Of course, I'm not too hot right now. Jeez. Obviously. Anyway, <laughs> uh, don't read down. too into that. Hey, you paying attention? Listen, man. The life and times of Vincent Brooks. <laughs> Booze, blocks, and babes. <laughs> <laughs> That's huh. and sushi girl. bars. <laughs> really? I can't really think of a word that starts to be that means sushi bar. Bars. What am I talking about? I'm an idiot. Definitely. Oh, the gang's all here. I gotta say, because of you jerks, I never get a chance to date anyone. Yeah, we're stealing all the girls from the bar, I guess. You guys. Anyway, you dig the older chicks, don't you? Yeah. I want a woman who's, you know, mature, stern, has a nice pair of heels. Whoa, man. <laughs> the way he I said that. <laughs> nice pair of heels. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, uh, I don't know. The son of us, the way he said it. So, did I hear someone call for me? Wink. I've got a nice pair of stiletto heels I know how to use. Oh, um, Erica. Okay, enough of that. Yeah, I've Sorry, already got enough of my plate right now. <laughs> they say it targets cheating men and kills them, or not? Which is it? Wait, 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 what? What exactly is this woman's wrath? Yeah. Oh, you don't need to worry about it. You only care about your girl, Vincent. Oh, what are you talking about? This guy totally needs to know. Yeah, that might actually be important. Pathetic. I agree with Toby. Pathetic. Fucking Johnny. Pathetic. Shut up and eat your peanuts. <laughs> huh? What? You're cheating. Weren't you talking about marriage? Why don't you say it louder? Seriously, stop yelling. <laughs> Vincent <laughs> Brooks <laughs> is a <laughs> cheater. <laughs> like it's on the intercom. Yeah, like the don't... the boss pulls out a literal megaphone <laughs> and yells it to the whole bar. Well, well, come on, tell me about this girl. Uh. No, mm, that's Apparently, not good. She's destiny level cute. Cut that shit. Destiny level cute? I've I never heard so that phrase awesome. before. I'm totally jealous. You jackasses better not mention this to anyone outside the bar. I am serious. 
dude, we know the drill. Say, have you heard? It seems that Boss was a bit of a player back in the day and broke more than his share of hearts. Really? See how he's wearing <laughs> Look at that face. They say he's using those to hide his face. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, yeah, I'm sure a likely story. Coming right up. You're in trouble, right? Maybe you should invest in some shades. Ha ha ha, shut up. <laughs> How many time much time are you spending here? Jesus. Press the circle button to get up from your seat oh, sweet. And walk around the bar. If you press start to open the menu, you can see hints on how to spend your time at the bar. Oh, really? You change the difficulty of the nightmare stages from the config screen. Cool. So yeah, this is the uh, help. I'm just curious what it actually says. Okay, well that doesn't really tell me anything I didn't already know, but uh, yeah, this is actually the uh, main, uh, the stray sheet bar, and uh, this is actually where you get to spend all your time outside of the nightmares. And uh, first of all, we're gonna start drinking our balls off because uh, one thing to know about drinks, your intoxication level up to as uh, the uh, narrator will tell us right now, how drunk Vincent gets corresponds to how fast he moves that night in his nightmare. Mm -hmm. So believe it or not. Um, you would think that getting drunk would have some sort of negative con consequence. It does not. <laughs> In this game, it is completely and totally, uh, almost encouraged, really, to, uh, drink to your heart's content as much as humanly possible every night. Because it'll actually make, uh, nightmare stages easier. The name Rum and Cola is actually a nickname. Do you know the real name of this drink? It's called the Cuba Libre. The rum called for in this drink represents Cuba. Huh. This is a cocktail which mixed the national specialties of Cuba and the United States as a celebration of Cuba's independence. Cool. Cuba Libre means free Cuba. It tastes differently when you know the history. And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Another one of my favorite aspects about the game is that, uh, or about the, the drinking, is that every time you finish a drink, you get trivia. And it's always really interesting trivia, too. So, uh, yeah. Throughout the night, you can actually drink up to three different drinks. So, uh, sure, let's just try whiskey. Whiskey. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Mm, okay. Here you go. So, how's work? Doing well? Hey, come on. I came here to forget about this. <laughs> yeah, shut okay, the hell up. Talk about that curse. Never mind. You're done bringing us drinks and scram. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe a little rude. So that's Orlando for you. Uh, I'm just gonna have a drink. <laughs> uh, cheating, huh? It's not like I can just apologize for it and everything will be fine. Yeah, so I kind of, sort of, maybe had a want to stay mad. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I'll uh, buy you flowers <laughs> or whiskey. I spend practically all my money on booze, seemingly, so. Do you know what malt means? It can often be seen on alcohol labels. Hmm. Malt refers to malted barley, a key ingredient. Huh. Yet, if it is labeled as malt whiskey, it must also be scotch. Single malt means that the malts used come from the same distillery. Huh. Malt whiskey can vary wildly in taste, depending on how it's made. So, there are many different brands. And that was the trivia for tonight. Cool. Empty already? <laughs> yes, Vince. You just got a sh bottle of whiskey. You just drank the entire thing. You're goddamn right. I'm gonna keep drinking. Just beer. Beer me up. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Here you go. Thanks. Yeah, let's see what these guys have to say. together a long time, right? What was it like in the beginning? I just want to know for reference. It wasn't anything special. It was at the reunion. He was giving her dating advice. Then he ended up falling for her himself. Oh, wow, really? He ran to her side in the middle of the night when she was depressed, after all. Hey, stop that. Stand-up guy like that turns out to be a cheater. <laughs> so 
Seriously. Yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> you're you're my best friends. <laughs> Mysterious deaths. You mean like how Paul died? Yeah. Or it is. This is getting called the woman's wrath. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sounds like something Erica would like to have. Hey, Paul's been here a few times, right? Yeah. He was a classmate of ours back in high school. I ran into him just the other day. Seriously? How was he? We just traded greetings, but he looked fine. Maybe I should have paid more attention. Hey, it's not your fault. Hmm? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> That's weird, because I, I guess we got put into the dream world, like the, the nightmare world, but that happened before we cheated, so I don't, I don't know. It's weird. That's so stupid, I can't even laugh at it. The timing's too good. Still, I can't believe you cheated. But if she's that cute a girl, maybe it's a lucky accident, huh? Uh, it's only if I don't get caught. Uh, yeah, maybe not. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> well, good luck keeping it a secret. That or beg for her forgiveness. This isn't something forgivable. Um. You're actually really sensitive, aren't you? You don't look it. Yeah, yeah, shut up. <laughs> While you're in you the bar, got mail. You will sometimes receive You've got mail. <laughs> Push the triangle button to look at your phone. Oh, huh. okay. No, oh, screw you guys. I'm out. Wow. Um. More bronze. Yay. Okay. Well. Again, the fact that Vincent isn't isn't seemingly paying attention to these creepy messages from his dreams, but whatever. Maybe if I talked to Paul more, this wouldn't have happened. Uh, don't beat yourself well, up about it. She's a bit cold, but Catherine's a good girl. You don't have to tell me that. Mm, yeah, but dating her for two years? Mm, maybe one. <laughs> oh, speak of the devil. I mean, not the devil. I could have worded that better. We are drinking again. I came by your apartment today and you weren't there. I want to talk to you about something. I'll do it tomorrow. Your place is filthy. <laughs> I hope that the girl didn't leave any clothes there. <laughs> Whose bra is this? Oh, that's bad. Okay, uh, we gotta play it cool. I can drink if I want. <laughs> oh jeez, don't touch my stuff. Okay, uh, yeah. We'll talk tomorrow. What do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? You want to talk now? I think I know what you're gonna tell me. <laughs> Probably don't want to talk to me when I'm drunk. Uh, don't, don't outright say that you're drunk right now. Sure. Yeah. Good boyfriend. Except for the whole cheating thing. <laughs> That's like in brackets every time. Like I'm a great boyfriend. Except for when I stand up. <laughs> Anyways, so yes. This is the stray sheep, and <laughs> Vincent's already. Drunk out of his mind. It even tells you how many drinks you've had at the bottom, up to three. And uh, one thing I want to point out uh, as well is that the Stray Sheep, the music that you're listening to, also Sprack Brooks. I probably mispronounced that. Is freaking fantastic. I l this is probably my favorite theme in the entire game, and it plays in the hub area, so you get to hear it a lot. And it's whenever I think of Catherine, I think of specifically this song. It's just it's fantastic. Anyway, let's actually talk to some of the patrons of the bar before we uh, move on. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Oh, God. Sorry for staring. <laughs> Please sit. This feels like something on a deadly premonition or something. I've never heard this story before. The man who climbs the highest mountain gets his every wish granted. What's that? It said a man climbed that mountain 300 years ago and was given a fortune. Mm -hmm. It said a man climbed that mountain 700 years ago and was given the world. A man who climbs the mountain now will be given his future to do it as he pleases. Is this a 
fairy tale or something? Oh god, it really is a deadly premonition. The story of Rapunzel is based on this true story. Oh. A prince who was able to climb a very tall tower gained his princess. Now, what will you gain? Huh? Will you become the man of legend? <laughs> Vincent, Man of Legends, Brooks. You Morgan is coming tonight. I wonder if I can see Mr. Morgan. Uh, sorry, I gotta take this. Oh. Oh, okay, no, I'm reading that wrong. When you sit down and talk to people, standing, drinking, checking your phone, playing arcade machine, and using the jukebox, don't. So basically all this is saying is that talking passes time. Okay. Good to know. Wait, did I get another one? What the? Oh, shit. Um. That's not good. Uh. Uh, probably should reply. I'll try and make it. I'll go if I can. Um. Sounds important. I'll make sure to listen to you. I'll be there. Go easy on yourself. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah. Again, the good boyfriend. Which is exactly why I'm gonna be texting <laughs> texting this girl. Uh yeah, who who is this? Do I know you? Uh hmm. what, what's our other option? This is Vincent. Okay, this who who is this? Don't message me again. Okay, let's just play uh let's just play it cool. We we don't know anything. Coquettish cat at Chrysophone. Hmm. I'm gonna assume that the text message when he opens it up <laughs> doesn't say <laughs> like every time he opens. <laughs> like that'd be fun actually if the text conversation. Oh Jesus. Oh what? Um. Okay. Sure. So hello, it's me. What's wrong? Is it about what you said in your text? Okay, so? Well... Catherine? It's okay. I think I should tell you face to face. What? Huh? Come see me tomorrow, okay? Good night. Uh, okay. <laughs> Man, Vincent does not see, uh, like, well right now, <laughs> let's just say. Uh, how about you <laughs> face? You Erica, please? Jeez. That was funny, like, I swear, like, I pressed the X button immediately when I pressed it. You just did a complete 180. Yeah, don't, don't be ridiculous. Jeez. I think Catherine started dating you because she just couldn't leave you alone. You're stupid in all the right ways. It tickles her maternal instinct. Uh, that's that not something I want to hear. Personality like hers is usually attracted to mind like yours. Is that the way it is? I guess that's the way it is. <laughs> oh, you still have more to say? Oh, that's dumb. The text was pink, so I assume that okay, this will probably be new dialogue, but it was a repeat. Oh, hey. When you talk to other customers, they may talk to you about their worries. Encourage them from time to time. Okay. You've got to become a better man. I don't know how you're ranking it, but I'm not desperate to climb the social ladder. Men are only acknowledged by their upward mobility. Don't be a tumbleweed. Be like Ivy. Always climbing. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's me, I guess. And let me introduce you. This is Todd, and this is Archie. Oh. Are you on your way home from the office? Or not? You're not wearing a suit. A suit? Oh, I don't have you that. You know, that, uh... That's a shame. That one on the right looks a little familiar. What do you mean? 
wonder where I've seen them. Business em. suits. Haven't you ever heard of bantam suits? Had you heard the jingle? You'll be the cock of the walk in a bantam. <laughs> oh, that's coming. Hey. Good, good I jingle. Heard your voice before. Huh? Have we met? Uh, maybe. Think of it, but I don't remember anything. Todd's a hard guy to forget. His hair looks like a rooster, doesn't it? <laughs> that's enough cockadoodlery out of you. <laughs> oh. Uh. Wow, you're sharp. Uh. I like my women like I like my blankets. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> Each time you sit and talk to people, have fun with the other bar patrons. Over time, the people and the conversation topics will change. Huh. You can go home at any time from the door in the front. Interesting. Okay, so uh, moving on from uh, topics. Uh, oh wait, there's actually another guy right here. No new leads today. Huh? Man with glasses. Oh, never heard read that before. No, oh, that's all he has to say. Okay. Well, uh, besides uh, topics, we can actually also do uh, two other things, uh, three other things in the bar, really. Acquiring trophies will earn you more songs. Oh, cool. Doing lots of challenging things to earn them. Do they mean? Do they mean like PlayStation trophies or midnight? I was about to say Midnight Channel, um, or like Golden Playhouse trophies, like from beating levels. But yeah, so you can actually change the jukebox of the song that's playing in, uh, in, uh, the bar. This was, a uh, one that played near the beginning of the game. And this is probably the intro song. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I can just tell from the title. And, uh, over here is actually an arcade game. <laughs> it's in winding up. Go to the arcade machine to play a video game. You can play up to three games a night. The rules are the same as the nightmare stages. However, there is no time limit, but you do have a limited number of moves. If you use up all your moves, you will get a game over. So take your time in solving a puzzle. If you can't beat the nightmare stage, you might be able to find new skills here. I hear this game is surprisingly deep too. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's give it a go. <laughs> yeah, you had a lot of interesting uh, quotes <laughs> between uh, each of the levels. So this is Rapunzel, Rapunzel, and this is basically just a 8-bit uh, version, rather, of the uh, main game that we've been playing. Oh, jeez. 64 levels. <laughs> oh my god, I did not expect this to have a plot. Jesus. Okay, here we go. So yes, as you can see, Rapunzel, it's literally the same game we've been playing, except in 8-bit form. So, uh, you can actually, uh, this is, I guess, I guess it just really doubles the content of the game, really, but, uh, oh shit. That's not good. Let's pull this. Oh, fuck. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing half the time. I died already? It's level one of Rapunzel. God damn it. Okay, I want... Mm. How many times is that gonna happen? So many times I'm grabbing a block and it'll just push. And it's like, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, let's, uh... Uh... Pull, push this here. There we go. Beautiful. Almost as beautiful as Rapunzel. <laughs> the heart floats out. So yeah, that that's pretty self-explanatory. It's not something I'm going to be really doing much, so... Uh, Jesus. There we go, stage two. Okay, I th think I've had enough of this. Okay, give up. <laughs> he just dies. No, I think I'm good. Oh my god, how long does it take to leave the... Leave the arcade machine? Jesus. Why does the witch have an afro, I just realized? Weird. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> These uh, bloody screen Call of Duty quotes are uh, getting a little weird. Okay, and the uh, last thing we can actually do in the bar is uh, take a whiz. I'm sorry for saying it like that. <laughs> they just wash our face after all the booze we've been drinking. Oh, Jesus Christ! What? Okay, well, that does not bode well. What did you see? Tonight you'll visit the torture chamber. Don't forget your boxers. <laughs> huh? And also you can go, well, ignoring that, you can also use the uh, bathroom stall, and uh, you can actually check your phone in the bathroom stall as well, which uh, doesn't really have a use right now, but it will later, so uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. Okay, I think we can save our game and probably uh, leave the bar for tonight. I think we've been here for long enough. Yeah, you can spend a lot of time in the stray sheep if you really want to. Uh, thankfully, it's all optional. If you just wanted to... Come to the stray sheep and then leave immediately, then there's nothing stopping you from doing so. Oh good, we're not having nightmares looking in the mirror for the second time. Okay, let's get out. I don't wanna go home, but I guess I better I'm not feeling too good right now. Bye. Hey, are you going home? Yes! Go home and get some sleep then. Anyway, be careful out there. I don't want to find out that you wound up crashed out in front of your place. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. You don't have to tell me. Well, thanks for the concern, All I right, guess. See ya. See ya.